Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna teach you how to make a blood splatter uh, effect. First step is just create a new white background picture. I'm gonna use 800 times 600, which is my resolution for my gaming. So you can add to like a game, you can make this transparent, whatever you wish. Okay. Now you need to make a new layer, make sure it's untransparent. Once you've done that, go to your um, paintbrush tool, whatever it is, spray paint tool, and go to the sparks brush. You want to set it about one. You don't really want to grow it much. Um, just cover the layer and an okay thick version of the sparks brush. Um, just reasonable enough that you can see it. Not really, really dark. Otherwise, it won't turn out okay. Now, left click on your thing and go to Alpha the Selection. Then go to your colors and choose a red. I just randomly chosen a red that was on top of mine. I would prefer actually a darker red than this. Once again, go to Alpha Selection just to ensure it. there and it paints it like this now that you've done that you want to go select the none unselecting all that the alpha selection has done now you want to go to colors curves now once you're on the curves go to the little tab right there and go to that once there you want to move your settings to something kind of like this let me see if I can get this right as you can see on the your left side you get a pretty good preview of it and you just move it to you get something that's more realistic Like I said, it's a little bit too bright. It's more of an orange here. And since it's on that white background, um, you can make it transparent, or you can have a white background or any color in which you wish. For instance, you can take a gradient tool. I'm just on the demonstration, which doesn't look good, but that's kind of it. Now you go save as your location. Blood splatter, whatever you want to name it, blood splat, and then you want to do dot png, dot png, and that will make it transparent. 